Hey guys, today's video is quite unusual. My big emperor scorpion, Pandinus Imperator, has died of old age a few months ago. As you can see here, it is frozen because I put it in the freezer to preserve it later. And as I got some spare time right now, I have started this project and also documented the progress. Alright, so after defrosting the scorpion, I've just made a small ventral cut between the opposisomal segments. Then I started to remove the innards by using forceps of my dissection set. For my purpose it was not necessary to be too accurate, so I didn't even open the slender body parts as the legs. The remaining material can just dry, which is no problem for these small extremities. After removing most of the innards, I washed the emptied exoskeleton to remove some remaining leftovers. Afterwards, the scorpion was ready to get stuffed. For this, I used normal cotton wool. I tried to fill it with just as much cotton wool to make it appear natural. This is a process where you just need to play around a bit until you find the perfect amount so that the mount does not look too thin but also not too bloated. Further I used a piece of thin but quite solid wire to put the metasoma, which is commonly called the scorpion's tail, into an upright position. Then the most detailed and also quite time consuming part began in which I used needles to bring the legs and pedipulps into a natural position. For this I put the scorpion on a piece of styrofoam on which you can easily fix the mount with needles or toothpicks. As you can see in the video I needed quite a lot of needles and the toothpicks were really useful to arrange the scorpion's general body posture and to put it into a slightly elevated position while the needles are better suitable for very detailed work. Alright, so that's basically it for now. This mount will now dry on my back knee for some time, probably a few weeks. First to let the remaining innards dry and second to let the mount harden in this position. When it is completely dry, all the needles and toothpicks won't be needed anymore to keep it in this position. And yeah, that's already it for the first part of my scorpion taxidermy video. When the scorpion is completely dry, I will make a second part to show you the finished mount. So for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.